Hey guys, it's me, Soulful Abby, and I make videos about home, fashion, beauty, soul, and so, so, so much more. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get my numbers up. I'm trying to get to 1K so that I can uh, start making the little community notes so I can get more feedback from all of y'all. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, today is another edition of Furniture Fridays and Furniture Fridays are where I go online and I cyber shop or window shop some of my favorite furniture pieces and furniture stores. So let's get into today's video. For today's video we have the well-renowned anthropology. Now I'm not talking about your college study of people and communities and cultures and such. such. I am talking about anthropology, the store under like the um, Urban Outfitters umbrella. It's like the Urban Outfitters uh, hipper sister store that sells mainly women's clothing and furniture pieces as well as accessories and a small beauty section. And I've gone into anthropology stores many a times and I've gone in. It always felt like people were watching me. I picked something up. Oh girl, I love that, says the sales associate for every item I pick up. I always go to clearance. The items in the store feel very, um, thrifty but unique and it feels like if you buy pieces from there you would go to events and no one else would have those pieces so it feels like super unique and that's why I'm going into these furniture pieces from this store today. So let's get into the first item. The first item I have is the fern storage cabinet. What I like about this cabinet is it's so whimsical. I think the black accent mixed with the like raw wood on the inside is such a great focal point and it's so in my eye draws to it I would take this item and I would put it in an office as like an office uh, bookshelf or cabinet and maybe have it behind my desk or in front of it I just think it's really really whimsical also I think with the raw wood you could stain it if you wanted to make it another color you could even like paint it white to make it like even more contrasting I really really like this piece also this would be I think a great piece to put in a guest bedroom I think it is charming and delightful. You could have a few little accent pieces, but also allow your guests to put their things inside and with the glass window pane, they could see if they accidentally left something before packing up and going, as well as like the drawers to keep items more concealed. I really, really like this item. I think it's trendy. It's really cute. I would definitely get in the black, the gray, not so much, but the black, so, so, so cute. And at uh, $2,500 it's not a bad price point. Now the next item I have on my list is a media console. This media console um, I would I'm leaning towards the indigo or the white or even the light gray. I think this console is amazing for you to put your TV on. It's super, super cute. It's low. The um, metal pieces aren't too flashy with like, it looks like a champagne gold to me. Um, I also like that some aspects of the console are covered. So that way, if it's like all glass, you have to keep make sure your media console stays neat and stays clean. But I think with this finish, it's really, really cute. And it gets the job done because you can have some items hidden. But then like with the um, open shelving, you can put like maybe your cable box or like a DVD player or um, movies, etc. And so I just think it's like a very low maintenance, cute, trendy piece. And it doesn't look like something you see at every other store. So very, very cute media console. Now let's get into the coffee table. Because I'm probably going to go simpler with like a couch, I think a coffee table is a great piece to put into a space as well as take out of the space to make the space look different. And it's a great like accent piece you can have in a room. For the first coffee table we have, we have the Quillen Marquetry coffee table in this like really rich um, brown wood and it looks like it has like herringbone or chevron pieces no i think it's a hairy bone on the side like accent so it's going like that um i think that's a really nice detail as well as the gold underneath on the bottom for the table to sit on it looks like this piece has storage so you can um 
you can take the top off. Let me read just to make sure. Actually, it's not talking about uh, <laughs> this being used for storage. But I think it's a great size. It looks like a solid coffee table, so if you wanted to put your feet up, you would have no trouble like having support putting your feet up. This table looks like it could be used for storage, like the top comes off, but it, do it doesn't say it, y'all. It's just very cute, very simple, gets the job done. And I like that this is like an octagon shape. Wait, let me count the sides first. Yeah, it's octagon. I'm not going to have y'all in the comments section be like, it's a hexagon. Relax. <laughs> It's a cute table. It's a very cute table. The next coffee table we have is a striped coffee table with like uh, the white marble. It's the savvy striped inlay coffee table. This is also really, really cute. Um, I think this is a statement piece that would go inside your living room. I would have um, more like beigey tones to this. But I really like anthropology because you can have that pop of color in your space. And the whole store and the vibe of the store feels like a pop of color in your space. Um, so yeah, this is a very cute coffee table. Uh, not really too much to write home about. I just like the pattern and the detail of the uh, stripes on it. I think the stripes makes it like geometrically fun and it catches your eye also I like that the bottom is like a wood material so you can like maybe stain it or paint it a different color in case it doesn't match the finishes in your room the next coffee table is this one with the like it looks like maybe like a marble on top or like a porcelain glass it's the elemental layer coffee table and what i like about this is it's a like mid-century modern coffee table with gold accents as well as like shelving so your top coffee table on top can be neat and then maybe if you want to put like storage s things on the second layer that would be really nice without people without your space feeling cluttered and messy because sometimes you have like those loose papers those magazines you know that you're reading you just stuff it under there and then no one sees a remote so you can put it under there but y'all this is something you need to point out about anthropology. Real quick, come in close. Let me tell you this. So I have never seen uh, furniture in anthropology stores in my area or any anthropology stores I've gone to. I've seen like trinkets and like accent pieces, but I haven't seen full-blown furniture in the stores. For this piece, it has very, very bad reviews. And because you can't see these items online and you have to purchase them, and can't see this person in real life, and you have to purchase them only online, it's so imperative that you look at the reviews. The pieces at Anthropology feel like high-end, thrifted, um, bespoke pieces that are really one of a kind. And sometimes the furniture, and I think they're sourced from like a lot of different places, is really hit or miss. So really look out for reviews for Anthropology. I'm just telling you that as like someone who shops online for these pieces. Granted, like I've said before, I've never bought any pieces from them, but I, I think some of them are really cute. So just watch out for that. So this table is cute, but the reviews are like, uh-uh, girl. Our mind came cracked. The corner wasn't good. The, it's not holding up. Uh-uh, save your money. So, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. So the next piece I have is... The next piece I have is a bathroom vanity. Now this bathroom vanity is the lacquered, <laughs> lacquered, excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry girl, I'm sorry girl, <laughs> lacquered Regency uh, powder uh, bathroom vanity. And it's a vanity that you can put in your bathroom with the sink and the handles. And it's just like a, ba a vanity that you could buy like maybe at like Home Depot and stuff. So it would be a vanity you actually insert with minimal like um, amendments made to the construction of the room like a drag and drop vanity so I think this vanity is very very cute and very fun to put in a um, powder bathroom one day I'll make my video on powder baths but I like the idea of having storage space and powder baths as opposed to like a pedestal sink where it's just like the sink in the bowl also this has a little bit of counter space if you have to go inside and put something down on the counter I think the uh, uh, 
plastic or glass handles or knobs are super cute on this it's whimsical it's fun the silver details is super super uh, cons uh I feel like it incorporates well in any space depending on the hardware and the hardware changes wouldn't be difficult. Um, I think this is a very cute piece, uh, will give your bathroom a lot of character but this item doesn't have any reviews so you can be the you know the guinea pig and try it out just let y'all know. So the final item we have on the list is the Parker Mirror Hook and Rack. And this is just a cute item to throw your keys on when you're heading out or when you're coming in. Also gives you that mirror to look at yourself and hang stuff. I think it's a neutral color. I like the raw wood. I also like that there's multiple places to hang stuff as well as sit stuff down that you need to sit down. Really, really cute. Um, the mirror is also a good size. I think this would be great for like an apartment as well as like a house. My only issue with it is the price point. $428 where, where Anthropology, where, $428 for this? No, no ma'am, no ma'am. This should be a smooth, I think a good sweet price point for this would be like a $250 because you can find something like this really similar, slightly different. I like Target and like Walmart for like $75. So this price point is just ridiculous. Was it handmade? Did someone hand carve it? Is this artisanal? Key hook? No, this is this is just too expensive. I think, but I think it's really cute. Also, I think you might be able to put this in like different rooms. I don't know how big the hooks are, but you could like put like towels on it or maybe like uh, ropes on it. I just think it's really cute. And <laughs> because I'm taller, I would put it taller so I, you know you can get eye view, you can see your face, the nice beat before you head out. So that's it for Furniture Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or do you have any favorite pieces from Anthropology? Leave them down below in the comments. And do you have any experience buying furniture for them, from them? If so, leave it down in the comments because the girls want to know. We want to know. I'll be back next week with another Furniture Friday. Later, y'all.